Hi people, this is Sapphire Needles. You're welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we'll be making a crisscross half length top. If it's something you'd like to learn, please keep watching till the end. Subscribe, like and drop a comment. Thank you. Let's get started. And the length of this paper is the half length, which is 15. Now, the bust pan that's nipple to nipple is um, 3.5. I'm going ahead to rule a vertical line here, 3.5, 3.5. So on the waist, I would measure half inch on both sides. I'll measure half inch on both sides here and here. On the under bust, which is 27, while the waist is 26. So here I'm going to be taking one inch on the side and half inch on the towards the center. So here, one inch here and half inch on this side. Then I'll come down from the um, bust line by 0 0.5 and I'll just connect this. Just like this, connect this one as well, and then I'll go ahead and connect this. So I would also tighten the upper parts, and I would do one inch on this side and half inch on this side. So one inch here and half an inch here i'll come up on the um, vertical line by 0 0.5 inch and i'll connect this as well so now that we're done with putting our darts i would come on this um line this chest line towards the side i'll come down here by 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 on the um, under the armhole 0 0.5 inches and then I'll connect it to that that here oh by the way I'm working with a chest line which is um, 7.5 inches below the shoulder so from that chest line I'm coming down by 0 0.5 inch on the armhole and then I'm connecting it to the darts just like this and that's the same thing I'm going to be doing for the back that's just how this pattern is except of course the darts so having done this on the front I'll move to the back place my darts which is just um, half inch on the half length on both sides half inch on both sides and then I connect it to the chest line the back that is not like the front I didn't um, put my zipper allowance I'll put that on the fabric and then what I did here is on the side I came up on the center back rather sorry about that on the center back I came up by one inch here I'm going to be cutting this out I came up by one inch so it won't bulge the zipper won't bulge so on this chest line now this is the chest line for the back pattern here just make it visible so this is it is a chest line so from the chest line just the way i did the back from the chest line I'll, on the under the armhole i'll come down by 0 0.5 inches and then i'll connect it to the darts here just like this there so we're done 
what I'm going to be needing now is this pattern so this is my back and this is my front this is what um, they look like same thing it's just that the back is going to be shorter at the center and then the front has several that so now I'll just go ahead to put the measurement place the measurement before cutting it out here the um, chest the bust is 32 which is 8, eight inches the under bust be using 6.5 6.75 which brings us here and then I'll be replacing the dots the dots is one and a half inch one and a half here one and a half inches and then the waist is 26 which is 6.5 plus um, one inch that does 7.5 6.5 plus 1 half half that's 7.5 here so I'll connect this yes now I would place my sewing allowance on the fabric we're done with the front let's move to the back it's going to be the same thing um, bust eight chests i'll place that here eight eight and then on the waist it's um 6.5 plus one inch that's 7.5 here so this is what we'll be doing here now i'll cut this out and then i'll place my um sewing allowance on the fabric without you know this is how I'm going to be cutting it out. And then the lower part. I already said it earlier that I'm going to be taking out this part. This is the back. I've cut out that part. So the part where I came down by 0 0.5 inches. I'm going to cut out this part as well to eliminate the bulge so here this is the lower part of the back pattern now we're done with the back here the front i came down on the armhole side by 0 0.5 so these are the parts i'm cutting out these are the parts I'm cutting out. Remember, I didn't put, um, I didn't add my sewing allowance on this pattern, so I'm going to cut out the excess. Then on the fabric, I'll add my sewing allowance it so it, I don't get confused this is for the center and this is the side so this is it this is the center this is the side and this is the back crafting let me just cut it on our fabric pattern I've cut it out on fabric the fabric the lining I also iron the soft interface on the lining so it will have weight this is um, this, the front and this is the back. You know the back, it kind of looks a look alike. So just so you don't mix it up, make sure you notch so you know the lower part because without notching it, it just looks the same. So this is the side, the armhole is lower and then the um, side towards the center. This is my zipper allowance. Remember I said I would add this on my fabric and this is a sewing allowance. I'll say it again. Remember to put your darts so you know the upper part and the lower part. Here, yeah, this is what I mean. Remember to notch, 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 notch. I don't know if you can see it. Not. So this is the lining, and this is the main part we can work in with. 
and then this is the back so i'm going to join all this together this together and then i'll take out the pattern and towel back so this is the dots So this is the back so i'll just go ahead and sew the dots on and then i'll know that this is the side this is the center this is where my zipper allowance is so i'll just join all this together and show us what it looks like so i'm done turning all of it there's the back there's the front these are the two uh, pieces of the back and this is the front so you know we're going to be putting that crisscross thingy um i closed it all up because i want to explain something before i open it up so the cross the crisscross will be coming from one side here this is the zipper this is the center back it'll be coming from this point across to this point to this um side of the front and then the other one will be coming from this point to the other side of the front so now let's cut that crisscross thingy collecting it the bust measurement i'm working with is 32 inches now 32 um, minus 6 that's bust circumference minus six. That's um, 26, 26, 26. So I'm going to be using one inch allowance to put it into the bodies. So one inch here and one inch on the other side. That's plus two rather. So 26 plus two. That gives us 28 so the length will be 26 inches plus two inches to um so on one side that's zipper allowance and then on the side of the front that's two inches 28 plus one inch to turn that band because it's like a band so we'll have to cut double of it or cut it on fold so that part on the sides to turn it in half half inch that's this one inch so our band will be 29 inches go ahead and cut it out you can use whatever length you want but on the fabric i'll be leaving three inches to put it in just like a wrap so i can leave maybe um, three inches from from the lower part leave three inches up from the lower part three inches so i can decide to cut my band maybe six inches or eight and then gather it to fit into the three inches or you could pleat whatever so let me cut the band now and show us what i'm talking about this is the band the length is 29 inches we did that calculation in earlier 29 inches and then the upper part of it is 30 inches the reason is that this side is the part I'm going to be joining to the side. The part I'm going to leave three inches below on the side. This part goes to the zipper allowance. So that's why it's longer than the lower part. Reason being that since it's going to be up into the zipper allowance, we wouldn't want it to be stiff, like tight, and she won't be able to move her hands. So we're going to I added one inch to this part for the zipper allowance that's why the upper part is longer than this side so next thing I'm going to be doing is I'll be for this fabric I'm going to be draping it with chiffon so this is what I'll be doing I'll open it up like this I'll open it up like this this is my chiffon fabric it's actually longer than the silk but i'll just join it on this side and i'll cut out the excess so for clarity this is what i mean i would this is i'll pin the sides i'm going to be sewing now this side this is the 30 inches part the 
side, the upper part. I'm going to pin. This side is going to the zipper. This side is going to the side. To the side of the dress, yes. So I'll pin this down, is what I mean. Pin this down here. The part I'm pinning down is the part I'll be sewing. Then I'll shift this chiffon upwards. I'll pin this down as well. Just like this. So after doing this, make sure you mark your make sure you mark it. So this is a side that is my 30 inch. If you look, you see it, I have already marked it because it's just one inch, so it kind of looked the same, but it has this curved look here, just like this. So this is the part that is going to the zipper here. No, remember I already told you that it's longer. So what I'm gonna do is I would sew this part. Let me pin this piece down. I'll sew this part and sew here as well. Then I would sew here and then sew here because I'm going to gather it. When I'm done sewing this points I might decide to leave this part out or this part so that I can turn it and then when I'm done I'll close it like this so that I'll bring it out that's what I showed you that's what it's gonna look like and this is it I've already done one this is it so I'll just close this up so it's going to be neat and then we'll see the finished look when I'm done so I'm done with this. This is the part for the zipper, and this is the part that I'm placing on the side. I'll go ahead and iron it. I did this one a different way. This is a part I just gathered it all around here. That's this part, and I closed it up. This one I left out about two inches. So I'll turn it and close it up from the inside. So it's going to look like this. This one is already closed up. So it's already closed up so i'll turn it and then close it up from the inside and turn it back then i'll iron it and show what it looks like then we'll pin it together so this is what i mean i've opened it up i left um two inches on the side I've closed it like this and then I'll sew and when I'm done I'll turn it back so I'm done with the both of them I did them different ways what I did is just attach the chiffon to the silk and then gather it at both ends making sure you mark the part that goes into the zipper because it's the longer part so this is the part that goes to the zipper and this is the part that stays on the side same as this so this is the bodies now I'm gonna place this like this let me open it up here. Okay, just like this. So, this is the part that stays on the zipper. So, I'll gather it, I'll be attaching it on this side. Oh, just in case you're wondering if this is going to show, that's the whole idea of um, making it really low about the chest line just so it doesn't show so you're going to have this illusion that it's just this that is on the cloth so i'll cross the bust i'll cross the bust and then i'll bring it here and i would gather it just if you can see this very well i marked the three inches so that's where it's going to be this is where the arm would go through. So I'll pin this here. Okay. 
making sure it doesn't exceed that three inches. Yeah. So see how it crosses the bust. That way, you won't even know what is underneath. You just think it does this thing. So that, and then I'll take this one. I already know that this side is for the zipper side so I'll place it here so it goes underneath like this and then I place it three inches as well on this side hope you can see what I'm doing This is what it looks like. So, here. At the end of the day, when it's worn, you can't see this. I'll just close it up here and then show us what it looks like. So, I've closed it up on the sides that we've pinned, and this is what it looks like. When I join the lower part, I'll put the zipper. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.